anyways vlog hi i'm in nantucket i've been here all week with my family i grew up coming to this island every summer my grandparents had a house here so we grew up coming here every summer and it's just a very special place to me and my family i thought that i would vlog today because it's kind of a fun day and i definitely feel like refreshed and reset i feel like i got enough of a vacation to like get back into vlogging. It's so hard to be in really beautiful, special places and not show you guys and vlog. Today we're actually doing a photo shoot pretty much all day. Today we are gonna be shooting the last summer collection for Dairy Boy. That we will be dropping in New York City at our pop-up at the end of August. We're gonna do a pop-up around the US Open like last year. It was absolutely insane how many people came. It was just like honestly one of the most special moments in my career, so we're doing it again this year, we're doing it bigger, we're doing it better, there are more products. So today we flew in a photographer and then we flew in Eva from our marketing team to get the shoot done. Olivia's been out here with me in Nantucket, just sort of like we've been working and been just like vacation. We're actually leaving the island tomorrow, I think. So this is just gonna be like two day Nantucket vlog, a little bit of a photo shoot. And yeah, I'm really excited to be vlogging for you guys. Even though it wasn't the whole week, I think like just showing you guys what I'm up to in the island a little bit is good. So I'm gonna go get ready now. So I thought I would bring you guys through my really natural makeup routine for photo shoots. I just wanna show you guys how cute the Dairy Girl Summer robe is. I need to take off the tag, but this is the inside. We also did this like limited edition Dairy Girl Summer 2024. And then this really pretty um, embroidery on the back. So pretty much every photo shoot, I do the same thing. So I'm gonna start with moisturizer and then I'm gonna do my hair while everything sort of like sits. I ran out of this moisturizer, it's slightly empty. This has been my new favorite rich moisturizer. I actually discovered this brand through a partnership and now it's actually my favorite moisturizer. It's literally empty. So I had to run and grab um, a Mario Badesco caviar day cream that I've actually never used. So this is what I'm gonna use for moisturizer today. But normally I would use a really, really rich face cream. So I'm also out of my Rode Milk. This is what I use instead of the milky stuff from Rode. Products like this sort of like prep your skin to sort of take in all of the products. Kind of gives your skin a glassy look. My look today is just very natural and freckly and tan and moisturized. Then I'm just gonna go in with the caviar. Ooh, it's thick, which is good. It's a very thick cream. I really love using a very thick cream under my natural makeup, so it just looks really natural all day. And then I normally either face mask or use these Shoei Cosmetics under eye patches. These ones, they're my absolute favorite. I'm gonna show you guys why I like these so much. First of all, they really come lenched in the serum. They're kind of a cloth material. They really just hug on to your eye and they just feel like they have so much product on them. I feel like there are so many under eye patches that I've used that I just don't feel like work at all. Even ones I've seen my own friends use, I'm just I don't know if those actually work. But yeah, I love, love these ones. Next, just gonna put on a lip mask. Also, I forgot to mention, this is the moisturizer that I have at home. I travel with it. It's the best, it smells the best. Yeah, I always have this on photo shoot days. I already applied this all over before I put my robe on. Okay, so while these are sitting, I'm gonna start on my hair. I showered before I went to bed. So once I wake up, my hair is beachy. I'll go in with these tools. I will leave the link to both of these. This is a pretty small curling wand. And then this is just a classic beach waver. But these tighter curls with this iron in particular, I have this wand in every single um, barrel. In my opinion, the best way to get a really natural, pretty beachy wave is changing the curl patterns and textures. So I'll kind of throw in a few of these and then I'll do some of the beach waver and also leave some of my natural, the way that my hair naturally dried. So first I'm just gonna go in with my beach waver. Also, sometimes I'll just grab the ends like I just did on this piece and just do the end. I think the trick to making this look natural is really changing it 
up. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, now I'm going in with the curling wand. I'll show you guys. I make sure that I don't hold it for too long because you don't want it super curly. Okay, this side is pretty much done. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished product. Normally I would go in with a beachy wave spray, but since I'm gonna be on set all day, I'm just gonna use some hairspray and just like crunch it in a ball. This will just last a little bit longer than wave spray. So for under my makeup, I either go in with the Say Sun Glow or these In Beauty bronzing drops. These I find to be a little bit more, not glittery, a little more glowy, which I don't honestly always want, but for today, because it's sort of an outdoor beachy shoot, I'm gonna use the more glowy. Sorry, it's not more glowy, it's more, has more little golden specks in it. And then I just add the Glossier Cheek Color in Coast. This is actually one of my new all-time favorite bronzing products. It's just a really pretty tone. So I just add a little bit of that to the Say Bronzing Drops. And I'm just gonna add this little base for my makeup. Then normally I would use this to bronze or my Makeup Forever HD palette, which I'm gonna go over this a little bit. Um, I really like using the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand when I want my bronzer to stay all day. It's not the most dewy bronzer, but it really does last a long time. I talked about this foundation on my last vlog. It's called Yummy Skin, and it's like a natural dewy but coverage foundation. I'm just gonna buff this into the top of my hand and very lightly Add some coverage. Next, I'm sitting on with my Makeup Forever Contour Blush Palette. The foundation and this product blend really nicely together. And I'm just also using this as an eyeshadow. With this look, I really don't do any concealer. And then just my forehead. Basically anywhere the sun would naturally hit. And then I use this lighter shade for my jawline. And then I'm gonna go in with this sort of like sunburnt pink color and just blend that in with my contour and a little bit to my nose. Okay, then to just set that cream contour, I'm just gonna go over it with this YSL bronzer. Then I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up, brow pencil, and then I'm gonna add some of my freckles back. I got this product off TikTok shop actually. I really like it because it's waterproof. I have to be pretty precise with it though. My freckles actually come through this foundation so I don't have to do so many fake freckles, but just adding a few over the top. Okay, and then this is something that I've been doing recently. So this is kind of a stain and it's waterproof. So I'm gonna actually use this to line my lips. Okay, once I've let this sit for like 45 seconds, I'm just gonna wipe it off, basically. I feel like there are so many tricks like this to doing a really natural looking makeup routine. And I feel like lip stains and freckles, bronzer and no mascara, the perfect way to make it look super natural. So while that's sort of drying down, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I'm just gonna run over this with my Benetint sort of bring the natural color back in. I'm gonna add a little bit to my cheeks as well. And then I'm just gonna set my face. So yeah, this is my natural photo shoot. I guess it's not only for photo shoots. I actually do this glam quite a lot. Here is my skin up close. You guys can see how natural it looks. But I'm gonna add probably more blush throughout the day, but I'm gonna start with this base. So now I'm gonna go get dressed with my first 
look. I will try to bring you guys with me throughout as much as I can today. Okay, we just shot at the house and then we walked into town and got ice cream. It's honestly so fun shooting here. Now we're just sort of like resetting, getting some new products and then we're gonna head to the beach, like a whole beach shoot. And then before we go to the beach, we're gonna go to my favorite sandwich shop called Something Natural. I think I might have included it, yeah, in my vlog from last year. They literally have the best sandwiches in the world. So we're gonna do that. And then I'll check in with you guys after the beach shoot. We rented a really cool car, a Jeep Wagoneer for the beginning of the day. And then we have a really cool Range Rover Defender. This is one of the cars that we're using. I've had this for a few days, but this is my rental on island this year. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. This is our cropped work jacket. I really wanna keep a lot of the last drop of the summer for the pop-up a surprise but this work jacket is so cool. And there's a big stamp on the back. And also the buttons are all DB. Anyways, we're gonna go get sandwiches now and then we're gonna head to the beach. One brain cell left. One. I never had any to start with. <laughs> That's cool. Neither did Hallie and the other girl, so we're all in a good. We should all go get a cocktail. Wait, after guys, this. this is really bad. Let's see if this car starts. Woo! Okay, guys, I somehow rallied. My friends are doing a big dinner tonight, and I did not think that I was gonna rally. I've been going to dinner a lot while I've been here. I do have a really big friend group here, so I'm gonna go out. My hair is still wet from the ocean, and I just did like. A uh, wet slick back. We're going to dinner now. I am, uh, we stay in town, so it's a very easy walk. We're wearing three completely different, different vibes. Outfits, but <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. no like you look really, very Nantucket. Wait, you two go kind of. No, you look Nantucket. Okay. We're both wearing denim. Yeah, I'm wearing a mullet slick back tonight, so. Maybe. <laughs> Good morning guys. We're gonna all go get lunch in town and hang out a little bit before my flight. Tommy last year was able to come to Nantucket. Obviously, I've said this so many times, but it's very hard for tennis players to take vacation. They really don't get any vacation. They have three weeks off in November, which is just a training block. Occasionally, Tommy and I have been able to go away and do something for the weekend. Like for my birthday, we went to the Bahamas for uh, like a little overnight trip and this trip actually usually lines up well with the tournaments so last year Tommy was able to come for a little bit here which was so nice he really loves it here and it was sad this year when and we figured out that he couldn't come because of the Olympics but obviously like it's so exciting that he is in the Olympics but yeah I've gotten a lot of questions on why I didn't go to the Olympics because obviously it's a very cool event but in my opinion I honestly never really thought about going I just think it really like is about Tommy and his team he's staying in the village with other Americans so I wouldn't even be staying with him and he's so busy there's so many team events and I just really wanted him to feel like he didn't have to go to dinner with me or spend time with me I really wanted him to feel like he could just like fully enjoy and experience the Olympics and I've loved seeing his outfits and just like everything he's up to there. I just, well first I have this family vacation every year that is sort of like a non-negotiable for me and my family, but technically I could have, technically I could be going now. Um, I mean, you know, I travel like so much. I definitely was not wanting to go back to Europe at all, but also again, like first and foremost, I really felt like the Olympics is just about the athletes and I wanted him to not feel pressured to, have to rearrange any of his schedule to be with me. I want him to look back at the experience at the Olympics and just think about um, the guys he was with, the girls, other people from the United States, the other athletes. So yeah, I'm enjoying from afar. Another thing that I think that I'll talk to you guys about soon is that I'm sort of wanting to create a little bit less 
tennis content. I just have so much exciting stuff going on in my life and I have such an amazing home life. I have something very exciting happening soon with my home life that I'll keep you guys posted on. And although it's like honestly quite easy to cover tennis because it's like so much travel, obviously travel content is very, it's not easy, but there's just so much to cover when you're traveling foods and restaurants and new places and a new hotel and a new tennis site and obviously the sport of tennis is very exciting and I'm dressing up in the outfits like it is it has been very easy for me to just like do tennis content and it's all performed really well and it's honestly been really really fun to have something to do on the road and I've just loved creating for tennis but I'm getting to a point where I feel like I'm doing a little bit too much and I'm also my content, I want to be more focused on the things that I really love, like my home life, like the barn, more cooking, maybe more beauty. I don't know, and I also have gotten so booked and busy, and um, which is incredible and amazing, and I'm so content focused during these tournaments. It's taking away for me from the tournament experience a little bit, and I feel like I, um, it's been, again, so amazing that I've gotten all these opportunities and I've been able to work and I've loved creating but I am very work oriented and I'm very also like money driven and you guys know I it's very important to me to like hit certain points on like content and I'll always, I'm always gonna like do it and I feel like just because I can do tennis content and just because it does well doesn't mean that I should be doing it to the extent that I'm doing it. I also just like never want to make an impression in the space that I'm trying to make this sport about me. And this honestly does not have to do with any like negative critical feedback from anyone. It's just honestly like me reflecting on myself and what I really want to be doing. And I am sort of competitive with myself and um, I'm very serious about getting a vlog up every Sunday and doing a certain amount of content a week. With that being said, that's why I was doing so much tennis content because my life was so much on the tennis store. But I sort of just like sat down with myself and I just, I just feel like, sorry, my camera just died. Because I talked about in my last vlog how I sort of want to re-prioritize my time a little bit and just make sure that I'm doing the things that I love and I'm not going to like stop doing it entirely I'm just not gonna do as much as I was and I just want to make sure that I am enjoying and that I'm not too busy during Tommy's tournaments but with that being said I had a meeting with my agent and my manager last week and the US Open is going to be so incredibly busy the US Open I don't think really counts towards this and what I'm gonna change because it's obviously an American home Grand Slam. There's just honestly so many brands activating. I have so much going on during the US Open, like some really big fun announcements. And there's just too much work opportunity during the US Open. But yeah, Grand Slams aside, I think I'm gonna figure out like a, a new balance. What do you think about that, mom? Yeah, no, I love all of it. But there's only so much you can do. There's only so much time in the day. and Yeah. You got to make choices. I also think that I, I... Just because something is content worthy doesn't mean that I need to be doing the content all the time. But I do have a hard time sort of like turning off. I have a hard time, if I'm somewhere beautiful, not working and not vlogging. But yeah, I just want my content to be more of a reflection on like the life that I've built for myself and all the things that I love and really value, not so much based off Tommy's things and Tommy's life. Although that is my life now, but there's just, I have so much else going on. Like honestly, I think the least interesting thing about me is that I'm a wag or that I'm on the tennis tour. So I'm gonna focus on that. But anyways, we're gonna get lunch in town. It's such a beautiful day here. And then I'm gonna head back home. I'm going to be home for a minute. I have a bunch of meetings in New York this week as well. And then, yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of home time, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Mm -hmm.